Good morning, church. We're looking at John chapter 7 today, so open your Bibles or your devices. We're going to jump right in. The chapter deals with going up to Jerusalem for the Feast of the Tabernacles, a seven-day-long festival, one of the favorites of Judaism. Jews from all over Israel, all over the known world would gather in this city for this festival. And it seems like the topic on everyone's mind was, who is Jesus? What has he done? What has he said? What about his miracles? Could his claims be true that he is the Messiah that we've all been looking for? And people had a lot of different opinions about him in this chapter. Some thought he was truly the Messiah and pointed to the miracles as evidence of that. Some thought he was demon-possessed, someone not to be trusted. Some thought he was the prophet, promised from the Old Testament, who would come and reveal God's will to the people, but possibly not the Messiah coming to rescue them from the Roman Empire. Either way, there's a lot of different views about Jesus expressed here. And probably in our world, a lot of different views about Jesus exist as well, right? C.S. Lewis lays out three possibilities. Let's look at those three together. He says Jesus could either be a liar, that the things he says he knows are not true, but he says them anyway, maybe to gain popularity or power. Either way, he's a charlatan and not to be trusted. He says that possibly Jesus is a lunatic, a crazy person, that he really does believe the things he says, but that doesn't make them true. In the same way that somebody with a mental illness might believe themselves to be the president of the United States, Jesus believed himself to be the Messiah, but in actuality, he was just a common everyday preacher and talker, and people were deluded by that. Some people say, well, couldn't Jesus just be a good teacher with a lot of wise things to say, but not the Messiah? Lewis says there's a problem with that, but Jesus does claim to be the Messiah, does claim to be the Son of God, and if those things are not true, then you really have to question how good he is, how trustworthy his teachings are in light of the fact that his claims are, are factually false. So what else do we have? He's either a liar, he's a lunatic, or he's the Lord. He is who he claims to be. His teachings are believable. His miracles are powerful. His claims are factual. Jesus is truly the Son of God, the promised Messiah, come to rescue Israel. Either way, we've got to come to an answer to this question. It's not one that we can put off or just say is beyond us. We really need to answer this. If Jesus is truly a liar, then we need to be kicking him to the curb as quickly as possible. If he's a crazy person, we need to be running away as fast as we can. If he is the Lord, then we need to drop everything at this moment and turn our lives into following him. If he is God in flesh and blood, then we need to worship him as Lord of our lives. I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. Are there other possibilities than those three? I'd love to hear your thoughts about that. Go to our Facebook page, share your thoughts. I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day.